Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Yasser Ahmed. So if I go back to the overview, what we're going to be doing in this series of videos is to be looking at some advanced spreadsheet functions. Um, we're going to be starting off with lesson one, extracting and concatenate. But if you look at this table of contents, we'll, we'll be looking at a range of functions, um, including index and match. We're going to be looking at using pivot tables, um, if error, is error, Excel lookup, and so on. Um, so let's go to the first task and look at extracting and concatenate. So lesson one, extracting and concatenate. The first part of the task is to extract values from this employee ID. You can see we have some values on the left side, some values in the middle, and some values on the right hand side. So we're going to be extracting those values. Then we're going to be using concatenate or the and to join up the values together. And also we'll look at uh, working at the length of certain values. Okay, so let's start. So if I want to extract the first two characters from the employee ID, which are on the left, I need to use the left function. And you can read their description. So it returns a specified number of characters from the start of a text string. So this is a text string here, it includes letters and numbers. So let's click on left. From where do we want to extract from? This cell here, comma, and then from how many, how many characters would we like to extract? So here, we want to extract two. So if I type in two, close the bracket, and before I press enter, what I'm expecting to see is A and B. So two values which have been extracted from the left. Yeah. If I was to change that to three, it should include the next A, but we just wanted um, only the first two from the left. And we can drag this down. Okay, done. So A, C, uh, D, A, yeah. Now, in this task here, we need to extract from the right side. So it's going to be 76, 77, 78. Um, we will use the right function. So it returns a specified number of characters from the end of a text string. So we want the text is going to be where we're looking to extract from. So from here. And the number of characters, again, is going to be 2. So we should expect to see 76. Yeah. We can drag this down. Right. Let me just move across a little bit. So now we need to extract the middle values. So we're going to be using a function called equals mid and returns the characters of, oh, sorry, let me say that again. Returns the characters from the middle of a text string given a starting position and the length. So we have an additional component of this function. So let's type it, click on equal mid. So we, we want to extract from this cell here, comma, Start number is from where do we want to extract from? So it's going to be one, two, three, the fourth value in, which is um, three in this instance. So we type in four. We want to extract from the fourth value. Comma, and how many characters do we want to extract? It's going to be two from the middle. So the difference with this function is we have to identify the start position with left and right. We start with either the left-hand side or the right hand side but if you're extracting from the middle you need to give a starting position so in this example it was the fourth um, character okay uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to join these values together and the first uh, thing I'm going to do is just use the and in this example here we can use concatenate uh, which is the second part so if I want to join these values together I'm going to click on the first cell c4 uh, type in and this cell and this cell and what we should see is all of these values joined up together if I wanted to include like a space in between the values you can just put a space um, I'll do it here in speech marks and then and and then you can see we have a B then a space then the next uh, four values you can also include uh, things in the space let's say um, like a dash Oops, Might not. let's just drag that down. Right, to work out the length of the employee ID, we simply type in equals uh, len. So it returns a number of characters in a text string. So if we type in equals length, there's only one part, just a text. So we should see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine characters. Yeah, and that's what we have. Okay, whoops. Right, what we're going to do now is we're going to use concatenate, which is another way of joining values together from different cells. 
So if I type in here equal concat or concatenate, um, you got this one here. What's that say? Joins several text strings into one text string. Concatenates a list or a range of text strings. So it's up to you. Concat, concatenate, does the same thing. Um, so what's the first or what is the sentence that we're looking to create? So it looks like the, the cat sat on the mat. So let's start with capital T, comma. So we don't need to use the and here. Cat, comma, sat, comma, on, comma, the mat. If I close the bracket, I've made a mistake. I haven't included any spaces and you'll see. So what we can do is after the commas, we can just put um, speech mark, space, speech mark, comma. Okay, so we can do that again. Uh, so speech mark, space, speech mark. Should have really done it as I was doing it, but I just wanted to show you what happens if you don't. Speech mark, speech mark, space. Um, speech mark, speech mark space and speech mark there we go so what we have is the first cell comma and then the space comma again the next cell comma and then the space and so on so if i press enter you can see the cat sat on the mat we and if i was to change this to something else for example you can see it just takes up that value and puts it into this um cell here so let me control Z. So guys, just to recap, what we looked at here is using the extract functions. So left, right, and mid. And then we can join the values together using and, okay? Or you can use concat, concatenate to join up the values together. So I could have done it here as well. So if I type here uh, concat or concatenate, I'll use concat this time. Um, this cell, comma, this cell, comma, and I want a space at the end. So I just put speech marks in, comma, this cell. Close the bracket, enter, and you can see we have a space at the end. All right, guys, thank you for joining me. Please join me in the next video. Um, we're going to be looking at um, upper and lower functions, and we're still going to be using uh, the concatenate or the and to join some values together as well. Thanks for your time. Please drop your comments below. Bye-bye.